And I think I got one. No! My beard! My beard is gone. I get it, guys. The beard was weird, but my roommate legit just took my razor blade and shaved off right down in here. And the thing that the thing that absolutely sinks is it's noticeable, so now I have to actually shave the beard, which I am not happy about doing because I actually was starting to grow like Grow some love with the beard. I get it. Grow love, grow the beard. All right. it, it looks good. It looks great. I know I look better with the beard, especially with no eyebrows. But now I have to legit shave my beard. Hey, yo, what is up, Saxon family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the Saxon family, what do you do with your life? Smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Obviously, I'm not happy right now because I have to shave my beard and No Shave November has already started, which now I feel like this is going to put me back behind. I get it. You're supposed to start No Shave November with with a clear baby face. I hated being a baby face. I hated just not having anything on my face after a long time. I said, screw it, I'm finally gonna grow a beard. I get it, you guys think the beard is weird, but I, I was finally enjoying it. Well, unfortunately, due to the fact that most of the beard underneath is missing, now I gotta shave the rest of this off. No! I don't, I don't wanna get rid of the beard. I get it, the beard was weird. Can't believe what you did. <laughs> You know how much the beard meant to me? Are you just like holding a trash can over? Is that what guys do when they shave? So all the hair doesn't clog up the sink? Yes. No, done. I see a baby face. You should have done a design or something. Looks, does it look like I'm a designer? I could go with goatee, but goatee is weird. Weirder than the beard. But now that you have no eyebrows and no beard, you should just shave your head too. No. I just paid like $40 for this haircut. I'm not, I'm not going to shave my head completely. $40? Yeah, it's a good haircut, man. They give you a massage and a bunch of other things. I, I don't like you right now. Seriously, like, you just shaved my beard. And you want me to take you to Philadelphia to get your car? It's actually in Camden. Oh, I gotta go to one of the worst cities in the United States to get your car. Look, look how weird I look, too, by the way, right now. Like, guys, somebody take a screenshot of this and tweet it to me, okay? At Jeff Saxon Vlogs. Well, this is me almost clean-shaven again, guys, especially now with no eyebrows. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I look good. I was loving the beard, but now I actually have to take some uh, shave butter here and just shave the rest of the beard off. But at this point, I mean, the rest of the beard is gone, so might as well just finish the job. I feel so weird right now without the beard. I look like that one guy from the Invincibles movie, like the first one. You guys probably all know who I'm talking about. But if you guys know that character, do me a favor, take a photo, tweet it to me at Jeff Saxon Vlogs on my Twitter. But look, I look so weird without any facial hair right now. I got no beard, no mustache, and well, the eyebrows are starting to grow back a little bit. But still, I am so upset. But because I'm a good person, I'm still gonna drive my roommate to the train station just because she asked politely. Look how beautiful it is outside. Saxon family. I actually, before I picked the camera up, before I filmed the last scene, I did go on a walk around my like apartment complex, and I have to say, it's very nice. I mean, you need a hoodie today, but you still rock shorts. Oh, somebody who's wearing short shorts needs to get in the car, so I'm just gonna, you know, take my time getting into the car so they can actually suffer. Yeah, that's right, suffer because my face is cold. Oh, guys, it's that brand new Fire Saxon merch right here. Oh my goodness, y'all, like, I am super pumped to actually be opening this up right now. Boom! We just had a merch care package sent to me. Right here, we got the brand new long sleeve t-shirt. Over here, we got the brand new hoodie. Right there, we got one of the brand new t-shirts. Guys, if you want to get any of this, go to jeffsaxonvlogs.com. I mean, look how fire each and every single shirt currently is. Well, I hope you guys like the new merch. Go to jeffsaxonvlogs.com if you want to get some. But there's one thing I really want to talk about. It's about a comment I've been seeing recently, and it's like, yo, did I betray McJuggernuggets? Let's just get the facts straight. Honestly, I didn't betray Jesse at all, in my personal opinion. If anything, he betrayed me by firing me and letting me go from Rigid Studios for me trying to generally do something good. I literally flew to Colorado to get my job back and he wouldn't give me a clear yes or no if I could have my job back, especially after the amazing drone shots that I thought were beautiful in my opinion that a lot of you guys absolutely loved as well. I even told him, and you guys already know this, that I wouldn't be waiting around for him and that I'd begin searching for employment so I could take care of myself and also pay for my bills. For those that are not of age to have to have a job and also have a place of your own, you gotta understand this one thing. When you grow up, you need to always have a job and a source of income coming in to help maintain and keep a roof over your head, help you pay bills, help keep food in your fridge, or you're going to end up being living out on the streets. And that's the one thing I don't want to do is living on the streets at all because I won't be able to even do YouTube. Yes, YouTube's been doing okay for me now for the past few months, but here's the thing. 
it, I'm not gonna be able to survive with just YouTube. I have to have another source of employment. Whether you like it or not, it's something part of life that we all have to unfortunately deal with. The fact that I was actually offered a contract with Big Brother Entertainment is a blessing to me. If you're unemployed and offered any work for your skills and talents that you do have, 99.99% .99 of those people will take that job. And honestly, I was offered a job, so I'm gonna take it. The best example right now that I could give to you is professional sports. Say, say a kicker is cut from an NFL team. Let's say the Vikings cut their kicker, which they did in week two or week three. Um, that kicker is then going to try finding another source of employment, whether it's another NFL team, being a kicker on a team, or anything that can allow him to actually continue his journey, whether that would be going to the Canadian Football League or any other football league out there. And that team might actually just sign that player because they know they can use that player and its talents to help them win. Now taking this back to Jesse is, I didn't betray Jesse, Jesse fired me, I had to go out and seek for employment, and then his brother, big brother Jeffrey offered me employment. I'd be a real idiot if I didn't take any kind of job offer that I got. And then when I get an offer for what I'm good at, I'm going to take that offer no matter what. I'm sorry if some of you think I betrayed Jesse, but the truth is, at the end of the day, he was the one that betrayed me by letting me go. All I tried doing was something nice to help out around kid behind the camera's house. And next thing you know, I'm cut from my job. I know I've said this, but honestly, I didn't betray Jesse at all by taking the job with his brother. Jesse let me go, which then technically makes me a free agent in uh, sports. Just go back to that sports reference where if you're a player and you get cut from a team, then you're a free agent and then another team wants to sign you, you're going to end up taking the opportunity to help better yourself. I'm honestly just trying to tell you guys what the facts are and the truth. And the truth is, I was fired. We all know that. So I'm able to do whatever I want with my life. I'm sorry if that disappoints you at all, but sometimes the truth hurts. Anyways, look what else also came in the mail today, which I am very happy about. Right here is my actual spin wheel. So I am very excited for that, guys. I can't wait to actually make this video with some of my friends. Probably going to get the Regena Squad in on it. Like, I'm thinking like gross food. Just give me some weird food combinations down below in the comment section just to help out with that video. Right now, I'm actually on my way to my local Walmart. I need to go pick up some stuff for meal prep. I actually got to buy a new pan. Got to buy some garbage bags, whatever. And real quick, look. It's pouring rain today. I don't I don't understand the weather here in New Jersey at all because one day it go from like really warm, the next day it's really cold to where it's really warm and then, you know, raining. I Just nothing ever makes sense here in New Jersey. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now is we're just going to go to Walmart so I can pick up these items so I can actually do some meal prep for this week. Ugh, I always try to make a left turn out of my apartment complex is the worst because you got cars coming from the left and coming from the right. But it's just non-stop traffic since I live right next to a college. So I'm about to go park my car here at Walmart. But before I do that, I want to do the channel ship membership shout out of the day. It's going to go to these two wonderful people right over here who help support me and my channel by becoming channel members. In return, I give channel members a shout out in the vlog. Link to that be down below in the video description. On top of that, let's do the Twitter shout out of the day. It's going to go to this person right over here who retweeted my last video over on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon Vlog. If you guys want to get the Twitter shout out of the day, all you gotta do is retweet this video over on Twitter. Okay, so we just got to my local Walmart, as you guys can see over there. And uh, yeah, it, update, it still is pouring rain, which absolutely stinks. Anyway, so I realized on top of getting the frying pan, which I need for cooking for my meal prep, I need to actually get expo markers and expo stuff so I can actually do that one video for the spin the wheel challenge. Which I'm just honestly looking forward to making that video because I just know how much fun it's going to be. So yeah, any gross food ideas, whatever, for the spin wheel guys, let me know down below in the comment section. Decisions, decisions, decisions. What frying pan do I get for meal prep? That's a good question. I think I'm going to go with this one here. This looks like a good frying pan for some meal prep. Also looks like a good one if my roommate ever wants to hit me in the head with it. I'm just kidding with that. Hopefully I don't get hit in the head by a frying pan. Well, I got everything that I absolutely need. Got the frying pan, got the expo markers, got trash bags, and then just some uh, 
cleaning stuff for the apartment itself. But guys, that's gonna be it for the vlog today. I'm actually gonna edit this one and get it up as soon as possible for you guys today. So this is present day. So if you guys did enjoy, do me a favor, drop a like on it down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to miss out, to never miss out on a brand new video. Make sure you follow all of my social medias at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. And until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna peace out and well. Peace.